Hi guys, it's Shade from Sadie Saves a Day and today I have another Hannah Miller paper review for you. This time it is the Turner line. Well, it's not really a line so much as just this one type of paper because it's all by itself. It only has one weight and one surface and that's it. The Turner paper is 300 GSM, 100% cotton and I don't know what the surface is. They don't say what the surface is. They don't say if it's hot pressed or cold pressed. It looks kind of like something in between. It's got this kind of weird mechanical texture that I can't really explain to you. It's acid free, age resistant and has a natural white color. It's available in blocks and sheets and when you get it in sheets it has four deckled edges. So this paper is my least favorite of the cotton papers. Why is that? That's because the ability to withstand masking fluid and masking tape is horrible. It's just terrible. This is such a delicate paper. I'm not really a hard person on my papers, but this is just wow. And even erasing actually completely lifts the pigment from the paper. I haven't seen that before. It's pretty new. It was so difficult to work to get nice colors and the surface is just not really pretty and you can even see in the glazing test just how much the color underneath this blooms out. Your colors just don't stay put. It seems really like an oddball, like why have this when you have so many other ones? What niche is this supposed to be fulfilling? I am not really sure. Actually, it wasn't the worst to paint on. It could have been worse. Definitely can't get the depth of color that I'd like, but the colors that I did manage to get on there stayed nice and bright. There were a lot of hard lines and I didn't appreciate that. This is not a paper that I would buy again. I have some first impression notes from right after testing. So there is only one in the Turner line of the Hanamula papers, and this is, it is a 300 GSM, cold, hot, who knows, there's no information. Uh, some kind of paper. It is 300 GSM, some kind of paper. It actually, I when I picked this up, I really didn't think that I was going to like it because it has a very mechanical texture. I don't know if you can see that, but this was actually one of the better ones to work with. Um, we have no issues with backgrounds. Same strange extreme lifting that I'm seeing on most of the Hanamula line. Granulation is fine. Not really. If you want to have more even granulation, I guess that's good. The colors don't particularly mix too much on this paper. I was able to get fine lines and I was able to soften nicely. There is a lot, a lot of damage if you use masking tape or masking fluid or erase. It's really, really damaged. So this is a quite delicate paper. It's been able to get a pretty nice wash and it blurs a lot with glazing. That's no good. But surprisingly, I feel like the painting came out quite clear. I was able to just charge in colors. It came out very light though, um, in comparison to the other paintings. I feel like this one did not come out as dark, even though I used the same process. For example, look at this Leonardo and look at the center of the olives. This one is much, much darker than this one. So I'm not really sure, but it seems like it kind of sucks up the vibrancy. So because of that, unless you're really going for a more subdued look, I wouldn't go with the Turner paper, even though overall it gave a quite clean look. It didn't have a muddy or messy look in comparison to, for example, the Hannah Muller line of the papers. And I hope that this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions about this paper or if you use this paper, if you have any recommendations for techniques with this paper. 
this scan of this test will be available immediately on my Patreon and eventually on my blog. I'll post the link in the description below when that is up. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Bye!